Alright, Stampede family. By watching this video, you're going to walk away knowing how to create a graph. That's right, a graph that represents your marketing plan economics based on where we left off at in video 7. Most people don't have a clue about this, but watch to the end and you will most definitely know way more than the competition about economics and its graphs. With that being said, Stampede family, let's get this food up off this table. We eating over here. So let's create a graph that gives a visual of what we spoke about in the last video. So the first line is that green line. Yeah, y'all see what it's about. That's that money line. That line is going to show for the most part how much money you've spent. The next line, which is that green line, I mean the red line, that's going to show you how much product you have, a.k.a. units. In other words, how many items you got ready to sell. Okay, so, so far we got your money line and your product line. Now we're going to talk about your fixed cost line. So your fixed cost was $2,000. So you're going to put that black line right there where it say $2,000 at. All the numbers I'm working with come from video 7. So if you didn't watch it, go back and watch it. Now this purple line or lavender, whichever one you want to call it, that represents your total revenue, which is equivalent to how many sales that you done made selling the product, how much money you collected. The higher that line goes, the better. Okay, now we're going to run an imaginary line straight from the red line, which is your units or your products you have. Just run that straight up the middle of your graph. If your number is different from 200, let's say it's 300, then you will run your line straight up where it says that 300 at. And at that point where it meets in the middle, that total revenue line, that is your break even point. Next up is the lavender line. That line will be your total cost. And you're gonna start it from your fixed cost line, which is that $2,000, and you're gonna run it straight through the break even point, just like how you see on the graph. Now that space that's between your total revenue and your total cost, the space in between there, yep, your turquoise line and your purple line, in between them, that shows your loss before you get to the break even. Now stand between that total revenue and total cost, the lavender and turquoise lines, anything in between there that goes past that break even point, that now becomes your profit. Profit, people. All right, so Stampede family, in that last video, we saw that it's gonna take 30 years 30 years to pay back that investor, and we know that that is not going to happen. Yep, it's safe to say you're going to have to start all over again from video one to find ways you can create a better business strategy that makes sense. You got to make those numbers look impressive, people. Remember, we spoke on the four P's of marketing. And I said, if you double the amount of an expensive ingredient, you will have to change all the other peas. Maybe you might have to change the plan to where you're only using that one scoop instead of two. Go back to selling to lower income customers instead of the rich. Or maybe you can cut costs somewhere in the distribution channel. Instead of paying SKU prices, maybe it would be better to sell direct to your customers through online channels. These are just a few ideas. Either way it goes, you're going to have to make it make sense in order to succeed. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't. Let your numbers speak volumes for your business. This is how you impress your investors. This is how you walk with confidence every step of the way when it comes to running your business. Yeah, we eating good over here when it comes to this business, fool. If you skip through the video, I guarantee you missed out on something you're definitely going to need to know while operating your business. Another free full course meal. Please leave a compliment for the chef by hitting that like button. If you want to leave a suggestion, 
leave it in the comment section. If you want a free invitation at next Sunday's dinner, then hit that notification button. If you want to be part of the Stampede family, then hit that subscribe button. If you want to be in the VIP section, then hit that join button. If you want food samples for your friends and family to enjoy, then hit that share button. Like they say, sharing is caring. Doing this helps me stay motivated by tossing this information out there for all those willing to catch it. We Stampede family. We trampling over all obstacles in front of us. If you're not with it, then fall back and play follow the leaders.